Question 3. A particle P of mass m kilograms is attached to one end of a light inextensible string of length 2.6 meters. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point on a horizontal ceiling and the string is topped. That means it is straight. Okay. The particle is held in equilibrium by a force of magnitude 35 newtons acting in a vertical plane which is perpendicular to the ceiling and contains the string. The force acts in a direction perpendicular to the string as shown in the diagram. The tension in the string is T newtons and the vertical distance of P from the ceiling is 2.4 meters. Find in either order the value of M and the value of T. That means you can find T first or M, whichever you want. Now the first thing we are going to do is to resolve the forces because we can see that these ones are the string and also these other forces like the weight which is here they are not um, maybe the tension which is also in this string they are not in the vertical plane so we need to put them together and then we have the vertical and then the horizontal so we need to get those perpendicular uh, planes one being vertical and then the other one horizontal so i'm going to put the forces acting on this particle m g okay then this being a string then there must be tension in that string okay and also here we have to resolve this okay you have to resolve this one here but we need to get an angle we don't know this angle suppose i put alpha okay uh, remember Closing in is cosine. So that means the horizontal component of this 35 Newton force is going to be 35, then cosine of alpha. And then there will be this one, uh, this vertical force here, the vertical component of the 35 Newton force. So it will be 35 sine of that alpha. Then after that, um, I will say this is theta here, okay? Then I will also try to put this one down and also put it up, okay? So I will have here T cosine of theta, okay? And then when I make it stand here, then since the R is like this, then it will be forcing up there, okay? So we shall have... T, then sine of theta, okay? And that is that. Now, uh, with theta, since we know this one here as 2.4, I can have a right angle triangle here. And then we say that this is 2.6 meters, this is 2.4 meters. You see that? Now, we can find this one here. Mm -hmm. We can find that one. And then we say that maybe this is the adjacent. So that adjacent there, using Pythagoras theorem, is going to be the square root of 2.6 squared, then minus the 2.4 squared. So what does this one give us? The square root of 2.6 squared minus 2.4 squared. That one will be a 1. So this one gives us a 1. Then after that, this simply implies that cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, which is 1, over the 2.6. And then the sine of theta is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 2.4, out of the hypotenuse, which is 2.6. Okay. Now we are done with that. Now we can go. Looking at forces acting on this particle horizontally or looking at the system, remember this system is in equilibrium. So if it is in equilibrium, that means we don't have the resultant in the X and the resultant in the Y. So in other words, when I say uh, resolving of the forces horizontally, these ones which are going to the right are equal to the ones which are going to the left. Okay, so meaning T cos of theta, what you're seeing here is equal to what is here, is equal to 35 cosine of alpha.
Now, from here, we have T is going to be equal to 35 cosine. What is alpha? From here, these are angles on a straight line. Okay, so since I know theta and I know this one as 90, then I can get alpha. That means I can say cosine of 180 degrees minus there is theta, okay, theta which can be the arc sine, okay, theta can be the arc sine right from here of 2.4 out of 2.6. Or you can say it is the arc course of this one here. Okay. Then, uh, then there is also minus 90 degrees. Okay. Remember we are here. So take off this and take off this. Then you will get the what? The alpha. Okay. Then after that, we shall divide all through by cos of theta. Which cos of theta is this one here? 1 out of 2.6. So in other words, this one will go up and then multiplies with that. So our t to three significant figures will be what? So when I come here, since 2.6 somersaults, I will just say 2.6, then times 35, then cosine of 180 minus 90. I will take 90, then I say 90 minus, okay, um, the arc sine of 2.4 2 2 out of 2.6 we get 84 it is exact so it is 84 newtons as simple as that then we can go to the forces that are resolved vertically so vertically we can see that we have this T sine theta, this one going up. There is also 35 sine alpha, and then there is mg going down. So I'll say T sine theta, then plus 35, plus 35 sine of alpha, then this one will be equal to mg. So meaning our m is going to be t which is 84 then sine theta is this one here 2.4 over 2.6 and then plus 35 then sine of alpha and remember alpha is what we got inside here mm -hmm. so i'll just slide it here Sine of 180, then minus the arc sine of that, and then the 90. Then from there, we shall divide all through by 10. So what will be our M? 84 times 2.4 out of 2.6. Then plus 35 sine of 90 minus the arc sine of 2.4 out of 2.6 then down here we shall put 10 we get 91 over 10 which is the same as 9.1 so 9.1 kilograms that is the mass of that particle so that is that